Let me quickly share with you the top 10 largest business loans for fair or poor credit from big national banks. Don't go anywhere. You're going to enjoy today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you had to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's convo, I want to give you the top 10 largest business loans for fair or poor credit from big national banks. Now, I heard you. A lot of folks, when you speak about big national banks, they're thinking, Oh, I'll never get a loan if I have bad or fair credit. You know what? That's wrong. Because we have research, we have the we have the facts. You can indeed receive a large business loan from a big national banks if you know how to play the games, okay? And we have the facts. We've done research. We have based uh, all the facts in today's conversation on our own research and our own experience. If you have poor or fair credit and you want to get any of the business loans I will be talking about, in today's conversation you need three important things you need to have an EIN structure a business plan and a projected data and the third element you need to have something called a multi-product relationship an MPR with the bank an EIN structure is way more than the number see an EIN is just a number it's a number that the IRS has given your company so that they can track you so that if you are tempted to uh, play games with the United States government when it comes to paying your taxes they can actually go after you. That's all it is. It's like your social. So what you have to do is that you need to beef up your EIN through good revenue, good operations. You need to run your business in a, in a legit way. You need to try to divorce your personal affairs from your business's affairs. You also need to have a business plan and projected data. Very important. If you have bad or, or fair credit, you need to show the lender that things can be rosier in the next three to six months or nine months and last but not the least you need to have a multi-product relationship with the bank i'm showing you on the screen right now a snapshot of bank of america and you can see on the screen all the different products that bank of america offers and this is kind of analogous to all the big banks out there so bank of america in this case offers business checking accounts business debit cards business savings and cds they have also um Balance Connect for overdraft protection. For In terms of services, they offer merchant services, payment solutions, they have uh, cash flows, they have small business payroll, cash management. What I'm trying to say is you need to actually be a client of Bank of America or any other big bank if you want them to lend to you as a fair or poor credit borrower. You need to get more than one product from them. For example, you need to have a, a business checking account a business savings account, a business CD. In our analysis, at least three products will get you the kind of loan you need, even if you have bad or poor credit. You can also hire them for services. The same thing I'm showing you again on the screen. You can see the same example as uh, applies to Wells Fargo. You can see Wells Fargo, they have uh, business banking accounts. They have uh, online services. They have financing. They have merchant services and so on and so forth. Folks, this three elements, this trifecta is quintessential and non-negotiable. If you really, 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 really want to get a large business loan for fair or poor credit from a big national bank, you got to have those three elements. The thing here is that you are trying to allay fears of default risk that your low FICO score might, con might conjure up in the lender's mind. The thing here is that the lender is looking at your file or they're looking at your credit score. They're thinking, hmm, this is uh, this this risk is too much. And they, they actually are comparing your risk spectrum to their risk spectra. And they're realizing that you are too risky for them. But if you have some cash, if you're able to show a fat checking account to counterbalance the negative, the adverse criterion that your fair or poor credit poses to them, 
they will qualify you. Do you understand? So what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a skinny FICO score, you better have a fat checking account. You better have a fat savings account. You better have a fat CD. You need to be in business with the bank. You need to hire them for services. You need to have them as your merchant services provider. You got, you got to hire them for, for payroll services, all kinds of services. That way, they need you and you need them. Before I get into and one thing I also want to say here is that you need to apply at a branch or over the phone. Don't apply online. If you apply online, things will be taken care of algorithmically. Your application will be handled by a robot who will just uh, check things and they will just uh, give you a hard pull. No, you want to speak to a representative at a branch and have a clear conversation about what you need and what the bank can also uh, you know, do for you. Before we get into the rankings, please check this short video about our loan evaluation approach. We do have a rigorous approach on this show when it comes to rating, reviewing, and categorizing business loans and credit cards. Number 10, folks, we have Fifth Third Bank. Our score, 7.5 over 10. The maximum loan amount here is uh, half a million. Credit score needed, 685 to 850, but they can go as low as 580 if you have an MPR with the bank. Minimum operational, operational history, 18 months. Minimum annual revenue, $200,000. The minimum APR, 635%. So for Fifth Third Bank, you have small business loans and lines of credit. So they have business lines of credit. They have unsecured and secured, depending on what you want. And the cool thing here is that the amounts are pretty are pretty uh, generous, all the way to half a million. What we love with uh, Fifth Third Bank is that they're very open. They also are a preferred SBA lender nationwide. The bank is, has been uh, innovating in the last few years. Great bank. And they also provide alternative financing. In other words, they have programs whereby if your risk is too low, like let's say you are in 450 or 500 and you are a preferred bank a bank customer, if you will, they will actually refer you to other players with whom they are partners. So they have the Green Sky program and the Apple Buy Capital. Those are two programs, those are two entities with whom uh, Fifth Third Bank has uh, been working in the last few years. Number nine, folks, we have Capital One. Our score, eight over 10. Maximum loan amount, five million. Credit score, 685 to 850. But they can go as low as 575 if you have an NPR with the bank. NPR stands for multi-product relationship. Minimum operational history, 12 months. Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated, $150,000. And the minimum APR, 5.75%. So with Capital One, you have working capital lines of credit. You have equipment and vehicle loans. You have real estate term loans. You have business installment loans, and they're also an SBA preferred lender. So they do SBA 70 and 504. So you just want to talk to a banker first if you want to have more idea. What we love with their business installment loans is that this is uh, actually, um, they make it very easy for all kinds of businesses, including startups, okay? And the term length up to five years and the loan starts at $10,000, fantastic. And you do have fixed monthly payments. This is wonderful. And you can use the money to consolidate debt, to expand or to finance operations. Number eight, folks, we have TD Bank. Our score, eight over 10. Minim the maximum loan amount here is $1 million. The credit score, 685 to 850. They can go as low as 550 if you have an NPR with, uh, NPR with the bank. The minimum operational history, 12 months. Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated $150,000. This could be estimated because if you are a startup, you don't have the if you are in business for less than one year, you don't have a full year, so that's why they put estimated. And the minimum uh, APR here is 625. 
So with TD Bank, you have uh, lines of credit, you have loans, you have commercial real estate loans and mortgages, and then you have SBA loans. And the lines of credits are kind of cool. The only thing is if you want to apply for a line of credit or a loan above $100,000, you need to apply in person at a TD Bank branch. They do have on their website an application that you can download, but it's pretty straightforward. For the business term loan, they have flexible terms from one to five years. They have one-time disbursements of funds provided at closing, and that's just wonderful. Number seven, folks. We have SunTrust Bank. Our score, 8.5 over 10. The maximum loan amount here is 5 million. Credit score, 685 to 850. They can go as low as 575 if you have an MPR with the bank. Minimum operational history, 12 months. Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated, $200,000. Minimum uh, APR, 6.35. And uh, you do have a constellation of business loans with uh, SunTrust Bank, including business term loans, SBA loans, lines of credit. They also have uh, loans for financing international expansion and exports. For example, they have the Export Express and Export Working Capital. And those are actually uh, under the aegis of uh, the SBA. And when we talk about uh, the SBA loan options, they do have the SBA 504, the SBA 7A, and the SBA Express Loan or Line of Credit. In terms of the business term loans, they can go all the way to 20 years, depending on the amounts. And you can use the cash for a lot of things, including expanding your business, taking care of operations, also um, financing your accounts receipt, your inventory, all that kind of stuff. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Suti Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about the top 10 largest business loans for fair or poor credit from big national banks. I'm here to tell you today that based on our extensive research, you can get a loan, a business loan, a large business loan from a big national bank, even if you have poor or fair credit. Number six, we have U.S. Bank. Our score, 8.5 over 10. Here, the maximum loan amount is $10 million, credit score 650 to 850. The FICO score can go as low as 535 if you have an, an MPR with the bank. Minimum operational history, 18 months. Minimum annual revenue, $250,000. Minimum APR, 7.5%. So you have a U.S. Bank quick loan, business term loan, commercial real estate loan, SBA loan, Equipment Financing Arrangements, and the SBA Triple P Loan, the Paycheck Protection Program. This is pretty good. So this is actually the repertoire of business, loan, business loans that U.S. Bank offers. For the U.S. Bank Quick Loans, you can, they, you can get uh, funded up to a quarter of a million. For the Business Term Loan, you can get funded up to $1 million, okay? And uh, for the Commercial Real Estate Loan, funding can go all the way to $10 million, and they have amortizations up to 25 years. Number five, folks, we have PNC Bank. Our score, nine over 10. Here, the maximum loan amount is $3 million. The credit score is 685 to 850. They can go as low as 550 if, the, if you have an MPR with the bank. Again, folks, MPR stands for Multi-Products Relationship with the Bank. And minimum operational history, 12 months. Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated, $180,000. The minimum APR, 6.25%. And with PNC Bank, you also have a great constellation of loans. You have small business loans where you have loan amounts from $220,000 to $100,000. There is no collateral required. You have an easier payment processing and a fixed term loan. You also have a secured small business loan. This is for amounts that are above one hundred thousand dollars, all the way to three million. So, if you want to go a little, if you want to go six digits with PNC Bank in terms of loans, they are going to require some kind of security, some kind of 
collateral. They also have small business commercial real estate loan, and they have also small business vehicle finance loan. Number four, folks, we have Bank of America. Our score, nine over 10. Here, the maximum loan amount is $5 million. The credit score, 700 to 850, but they can go as low as 600 if you have an, an MPR with the bank. Minimum operational history, 15 months. Minimum uh, annual revenue, actual or estimated, $240,000. Minimum APR, 3.82%. With uh, Bank of America, you also have a nice repertoire of business loans. You have Business Advantage Credit Line. You have Business Advantage Term Loan. You have Business Advantage Auto Loan. You have Commercial Real Estate. You have Equipment Loans. You have a Secured Business Line of Credit. You have Secured Business Loans, Healthcare Practice Loans, and SBA Loans. So you can see that you have a nice mixture of business loans either secured or unsecured. And if you happen to be in the healthcare industry, you can actually consider Bank of America. They have a, a great service, a great department, a great unit that that sort of uh, provides financing for healthcare entities. But great, great bank. They have nationwide coverage. Not a problem. Number three, folks. We have Wells Fargo. Our score 9.5 over 10. The maximum loan amount is $10 million. Credit score needed 660 to 850. They can go as low as a 580 if you have a multi-product relationship with the bank. Minimum operational history, nine months. Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated $150,000. Minimum APR, 4.75%. And Wells Fargo also offers a great uh, a great service in terms of loans they have a, a wonderful trifecta so they have business lines of credit they have commercial real estate financing and small business administration lending so they one thing you would you would have noticed right off the bat is that at the moment Wells Fargo does not offer business loans term loans they offer lines of credit okay so when it comes to lines of credit they have Wells Fargo business lines of credit and they have the Wells Fargo prime line of credit the, the only difference is that the uh, for the business lines of credit you, you have uh, no collateral required so it's unsecured but for the wells fargo prime line of credit the amounts are higher one hundred thousand to half a million so this must be secured by the business assets and commercial real estate this is where you get uh, loan amounts up all the way to 10 million dollars they are also present in sba lending for it the 504 and the 7a programs number two folks we have citibank our score 9.5 over 10. here the maximum loan amount is of five million dollars the credit score is 675 to 850. they can go as low as 560 if you have an mpr with the bank and uh, minimum operational history 18 months Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated $150,000. Minimum APR, 4.99%. And when it comes to city, city also has a, a healthcare practice finance. And the cool thing here is that because there's a lot of money to, to be made in that department, right? It's, uh, it's fantastic. So besides healthcare practice finance, they also have business installment loans, loans from uh, 5,000 to uh, 5 million. You can use the money to buy equipment, expand operations, and other specific long-term needs. You have business lines of credit. So you have lines from 10,000 to half a million. You can draw from that line as needed to manage your short-term recurring or unexpected cash flow needs. You also have uh, commercial mortgages offered by a city. And here the amounts oscillates from $250,000 to $5 million. And this is basically a secured loan for buying, refinancing, or renovating your business space with fixed or variable rates. Number one, folks, when it comes to the largest business loan for fair or poor credit from a big national bank, number one, we have Chase. Our score, perfect score, 10 over 10. The maximum loan amount, $10 million. The credit score is 685 to 850. 
they can go as low as a 575 if you have a multi-product relationship with chase minimum operational history 12 months minimum annual revenue actual or estimated two hundred thousand dollars minimum apr 5.69 percent with chase you also have a nice catalog of business loans and other financing arrangements so you have lines of credits you have business loans you have commercial real estate arrangements you have sba solutions you have equi equipment financing and you have trade financing the bottom line here is that chase is an all-in financial behemoth they offer all kinds of services all kinds of loan products and the cool thing here is that with chase they also are covering the whole uh, United States. So the, what you need to do is you need to see what kind of uh, banking relationship you have with Chase. If you are a current Chase business banker, a business customer rather, then I would strongly suggest that you contact them for your business loan needs. All right, folks. This was it for today's conversation, but before I go, I have a bonus for you. You're going to love it. And we have found in the course of our research, two extra banks that we wanted to share with you. We have Citizens Financial. Our score, 7 over 10. And here, the maximum loan amount, $1 million. The credit score, 650 to 850. They can go as low as 565 if the uh, MPR is with the bank if there's an NPR with the bank minimum operational history 18 months minimum annual revenue actual or estimated 200 200 thousand dollars minimum apr 7.65 percent when it comes to citizens financial you have uh, you can access a business line of credit you can get approved for a business or equipment flex loan a business term loan and a business mortgage and uh, what they call business or equipment flex loan you can use that loan to finance various assets such as equipment vehicles or machinery with a short-term line of credit that turns into a term loan this is really wonderful we love the hybrid arrangement arrangement here for the business term loan you can purchase large assets and increase long-term liquidity you can experience the speed and simplicity of the citizens bank vintage link online application we tested that it is a fantastic online application link and you can get a business loan up to a quarter of a million in two to three days we also want to share with you key bank another big national bank that has there's been doing a lot of great things and uh, our score seven over ten the maximum loan amount here is two million dollars the credit score is 685 to 850 they can go as low as 590 if you have an uh, mpr with the bank minimum operational history 12 months Minimum annual revenue, actual or estimated $250,000. Minimum APR, 4.99%. With a key bank, you have a, a nice list of uh, business funding arrangements. You have lines of credits. You have term loans. You have business real estate borrowing. And you also have key equipment, financing and leasing, which is their department that finances all the collateralized fixed asset loans for example equipment financing car loans all that kind of stuff one thing i want to say when it comes to key bank is that they are a national player they are also a preferred sba lender so they can be considered as an all-in financial institution also the most important thing is you need to be a client of theirs of course especially if you want to borrow for higher amounts even for smaller amounts they would rather have you as a client because you might get a discount with auto pay if you link your the loan repayments to your checking accounts with them you might get a, a nice discount like 0.25 percent or if you're lucky 0.50 percent off the apr all right folks this is it for today's conversation i want to quickly recap the top 10 largest business loans for fair or poor credit from big national banks number one we have chase 10 over 10 number two we have a city 9.5 over 10. Number three, we have Wells Fargo, 9.5 over 10. Number four, we have Bank of America, 9 over 10. Number five, we have PNC Bank, 9 over 10. Number six, we have a US Bank, 8.5 over 10. Number seven, we have a Sun Trust Bank, now called Trust Bank, 8.5 over 10. Number eight, we have a TD Bank, 
8 over 10. Number 9, we have Capital One, 8 over 10. And number 10, we have Fifth Third Bank, 7.5 over 10. And uh, in our bonus category, we gave you uh, Citizens Financial, 7 over 10, and Key Bank, 7 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.